So we can use the tree control to give users a hierarchical list of items from which to select. We organize the items we enter in the tree control into groups of items or nodes. Click the expand symbol next to a node. to expand it and display all the items in that node. When we type characters in a t uh, tree control at runtime, LabVIEW selects the first item in the tree control that begins with the characters that we type. So let's type uh, F. Let's type O. Let's type S. F, let's type 1. We can change the hierarchy of items in the tree control by selecting an item. and pressing the period key to indent the current item or comma key to move the current item to the left. Let's press uh, comma and once more let's press the period key. We can right click a tree control and we can select Selection mode, highlight entire row from the shortcut menu to highlight the entire row when we select an item. By default, in only the item selected is highlighted. We configure items in a tree control the same way we configure them in list box. We also can change the type of symbol that appears next to each node. For that, we have to first enable the symbols, which are by default enabled. And then we select the item, right click, and then we can go to item symbol and then select a symbol to appear. And we can configure whether the user can drag and drop items within the tree control. Here we can item dragging, allow dragging, allow dragging of parent items, item dropping, allow dropping, allow dropping between items, allow drag drop outside control, and drag mode, copy or move, copy only or move only. We can use the invoke node to modify items in the tree by going to edit tree items and selecting from amongst these options and to gather information about items such as to detect which items, if any, the user double clicked by using this. 
invoke method when we add an item to the tree control lab view creates a unique tag for the item we can use this tag to modify items or to gather information about items programmatically like if you use this then you need to specify the tags we can right click the tree control and select edit items from the shortcut menu to modify the tags that lab you creates for each item by default tag is the same as the item name